Uh, thank you for the invitation and the introduction. It's a great honor to uh, speak in this uh, Shintong Yao conference. So uh, I will talk about uh, complex hyperbolic structures for some moduli spaces of uh, Calabria varieties, uh, mainly constructed by cyclic covers. So uh, the work is uh, joined with uh, Zhu Wei Zheng, uh, also another faculty from uh, Yao Math Science Center in Tsinghua. So let me start. Um, so there are many locally symmetric spaces uh, which have uh, modular interpretations, and it's uh, important to find those uh, modular interpretations. Uh, so the basic setting is that uh, uh, let this M be the moduli of certain uh, algebraic varieties, and D is a uh, Hermitian symmetric domain uh, together with a discrete lattice uh, acting on it. And uh, usually we will have some period math uh, connecting this uh, modular uh, space to uh, this uh, discrete quotient of uh, Hermitian symmetric space. So there are some uh, famous examples. Uh, the first one um, used by uh, number theorists a lot is a moduli of uh, polarized abelian varieties. And the corresponding uh, Hermitian symmetric domain is just a single half, uh, half space. And uh, next one is also uh, my favorite. Uh, it's a moduli of uh, polarized K3 surfaces. And the corresponding um, symmetric domain is just a, a type 4 domain. And in both cases, uh, you will have uh, isomorphism uh, between both sides. And today's talk, we are focused on a very special type of uh, Hermitian symmetric domain. Uh, let me define it. So if you have a n plus one dimensional complex vector space together with a Hermitian form, and the, the signature is uh, one n, then the complex hyperbolic ball of uh, dimension n uh, is defined to be the positive vectors uh, in the projectivization of V. And uh, if you write down the uh, equation, use the standard Hermitian form, you'll find uh, it's actually a ball uh, inside CN. So uh, that's why it's called a complex hyperbolic ball. So there are many examples connecting uh, modular spaces uh, to this uh, uh, Hermitian uh, symmetric space. So the first one uh, we will use uh, a lot is uh, uh, by the Limostow and also Thurston. So uh, it's a moduli space of uh, points on P1. And the second construction uh, is also a very famous construction by uh, Elko, Carson, and Toledo. Uh, they actually have uh, two cases. One is a moduli of uh, cubic surfaces, and the other is a moduli of uh, cubic threefolds. So uh, the second case, you will have a 10-dimensional uh, complex hyperbolic ball. And the next construction uh, is by Kondo. Uh, he has some uh, construction to relate the moduli of uh, genus three curves and genus four curves to a uh, complex hyperbolic ball. So these are the, uh, some uh, examples. Uh, later I will uh, go through uh, some of them. So, uh, so let's look at the first example. So the first example actually dates back to uh, Euler Riemann uh, when they studied the so-called uh, hypergeometric functions. And later Schwarz, uh, like uh, mentioned by Professor uh, Jin Long Wang uh, about uh, this uh, uh, classification of uh, some triangles. So uh, Schwarz also did uh, some important work about the monodromic group uh, from hypergeometric functions. And uh, Picard later did uh, the case for uh, two variable basis. Uh, and there are uh, many other mathematicians. And in the 1980s, uh, Dani and Mosto uh, unified those uh, studies and uh, systematically studied the uh, monodromic groups coming from uh, these families. So uh, most specifically, uh, we consider the cyclic cover of uh, project line. So the equation is given by uh, y to the d equal to uh, some products on the right, right hand side. So uh, we will assume uh, the uh, ratio of ai over d is uh, between 0 and 1. And in this case, the uh, cyclic group, 
will act on this curve C uh, just by uh, multiplying the uh, Y coordinate. So this will decompose the uh, core module of C uh, by the characters of this uh, uh, finite group. So uh, they found a condition uh, when this uh, summation of weights equal to two, then um, the topological character space uh, H1C, uh, which has dimension n plus one, uh, it has a Hermitian form uh, induced just by uh, Poincare repairing. And uh, under this numerical condition on the ways, you will have a uh, Hermitian form of single nature one N. That's exactly the case uh, we wanted. And uh, the modular space of such C is just a, a modular space of X1 up to Xn plus three uh, on uh, P1. And uh, in this case, um, the moduli space is just a, a moduli of uh, n plus three distinct points uh, on P1. And uh, you can look at uh, how the cohomology of C changes uh, when you change the parameter x1 up to x n plus three. So you will have a monodromy representation and uh, uh, this monodromy will preserve the Hermitian symmetric, uh, uh, will pr preserve the Hermitian form so you will get a monodromy representation from pi one m to uh, p u one n, which is a projective unitary group preserving this uh, Hermitian form. So uh, people are interested in this uh, monodromy representation uh, and also uh, interested in the image of this uh, uh, monodromy representation. And uh, in fact, when n equals one, it was solved uh, by Schwarz. So uh, he has uh, uh, a uh, complete classification of uh, the discrete uh, monodromy groups. And uh, for n greater or equal, uh, so that, that there are uh, infinitely many examples in uh, n equals one, but uh, for n greater or equal than two, there are only finite many examples such that this uh, monodromy representation gives you uh, discrete lattices. So uh, Denis and Mostow uh, and also Thurston uh, independently, they uh, found all the uh, Couples uh, such that this monodromy group is uh, discrete. So uh, people are interested in this example because it provides examples of uh, non-arithmetic lattices. So for some of them, uh, for n equals two and n equals three, you can find some uh, non-arithmetic lattices in P one. So that's the uh, uh, only case people didn't know whether. Uh, people don't know yet whether you can have infinitely many uh, non arithmetic lattices. And uh, for other cases, uh, people either uh, provided, uh, for other simple groups, uh, people either uh, provided infinitely many uh, non arithmetic lattices or uh, people prove a rigidity, which means any discrete lattice is arithmetic. And actually, one of the uh, important cases uh, is a result of uh, Professor Shen. So, um, after quotient by this uh, uh, discrete lattice, uh, they can also prove that uh, the JIT commutification of this moduli uh, is isomorphic to the uh, Betty Borel commutification uh, on the side of uh, locally Hermitian symmetric space. So that's a, a case when we study a cyclic cover of a project line, and classically as uh, uh, studying of um, a monodromy of some uh, special functions. And uh, if you go to a uh, higher dimension, uh, Kondo has this uh, example. So he considered a non hyper elliptic curve of uh, genus four. So generically, it's a uh, genus four curve uh, is a, a degree three three uh, curve uh, on P1 cross P1, uh, which is a quadric uh, in P3. So uh, you can take a triple cover of uh, this quadric uh, branching along C. Now you obtain a surface uh, S. So uh, you can find that uh, the surface S is actually a K3 surface together with a, uh, a cyclic group action. So you can do the similar game here. Uh, you find that uh, the uh, cohomology group of S uh, decompose uh, as characters and then uh, the topological piece uh, will have a Hermitian form with signature one nine. And in this case, uh, you can also study the 
uh, period map from the uh, modular space of genus four curve to uh, this uh, uh, nine-dimensional uh, complex hyperbolic ball quotient. And uh, in fact, in this case, it's not isomorphism anymore, but uh, you can know uh, that they're birational and uh, how the uh, birational transformation works. So uh, like uh, what kind of locus you need to blow up and blow down to get this morphism. And uh, in fact, this example, uh, this ball quotient is still related to the uh, Dalimostal ball quotient uh, uh, I just uh, mentioned. And uh, it's uh, using the Nikulin theory of uh, this uh, case three lattices. And this ball quotient is a special one. It's uh, the one uh, with maximal dimension in the most of theory. And you have uh, 12 points and uh, all the weights uh, adding together equal to two. So it's a uh, even weight uh, case. And uh, the other examples I just mentioned about a modular space of uh, genus three curves, uh, you can also do the game uh, by uh, a degree four uh, cyclic cover of uh, P2 branching along this uh, genus three curve. And for cubic surfaces and cubic uh, three folds, uh, you also do some cyclic cover uh, to uh, obtain uh, some uh, cubic four folds. And then uh, finally, the Hodge structure is related to some uh, hypercalar varieties. And uh, you can also obtain those uh, ball quotients, uh, just like uh, what you did for K3 surface. So that's uh, uh, dimension one and dimension two. Now let's look at uh, dimension three. So uh, there's also some classical work uh, by Sheng, Xu, and Zhuo. Uh, they studied a cyclic cover of uh, uh, also a degree three cyclic cover of Y uh, over P3 branching along uh, six hyperplanes. So you have a hyperplane arrangement and uh, this Y will be a uh, columbia orbifold. Uh, it has singularity uh, just on the, this uh, uh, intersection of those hyperplanes, but it's not that bad because uh, it, uh, it's uh, orbifold and uh, also admits uh, Krapen resolution. So you can study the uh, same thing. You uh, sorry, I should say uh, H three of Y. So uh, the cyclic group uh, decompose is uh, uh, in the follow in the following way. So the uh, total Hodge number is uh, one three three one, and uh, the group action just uh, separates H three zero H two one with H one two and H zero three. And in this case, uh, if you look at period map corresponding to uh, this uh, tautological character, then the period domain is a uh, three-dimensional uh, complex hyperbolic ball. And this case uh, turns out also related to uh, the most of the example. And now it's a, a dimension three case, and you have uh, six points uh, with even weights. So uh, each of them has a weight one over three. And uh, just a few years ago, uh, Sheng and Xu uh, proved that uh, the global Torelli theorem uh, holds for this family uh, based on the isomorphism in this uh, the most of theory. And uh, for higher dimensions, uh, Sheng Xu Zhuo also classified such examples uh, for cyclic covers of Pn uh, branching along hyperplanes. So that's uh, uh, some known results. So our work is to uh, study some uh, like more general basis. For example, uh, the uh, richest example comes from uh, P1 cross P1 cross P1. So you study a uh, triple cover uh, of uh, uh, Y, uh, 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 triple cover of these uh, products of P1, and uh, it has branch and locus uh, like this. So you say simple normal crossing divisor uh, adding together is in the linear system uh, 0333, and this condition uh, guarantees that uh, you get a uh, Calabria orbifold. So you let each divisor vary in the corresponding linear system, uh, you will get a family of uh, Calabria orbifolds, and uh, also they have uh, Krapen resolutions. And uh, our theorem says that uh, you can actually classify all the uh, Calabria orbifolds uh, with uh, ball type moduli in this case. So that's a list. So we have uh, uh, four maximal cases. 
uh, one is, uh, was already uh, discovered and uh, studied by Mozan, uh, Bosia, and uh, Roth, and uh, the other uh, three uh, are not known. And uh, uh, our classification says that uh, these are the maximal cases. And if you take any refinements of those uh, 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 those divisors, uh, for example, you can uh, break this uh, three three zero into like uh, two one zero uh, zero. Uh, two one zero and uh, one two zero, and you study the divisors in those uh, linear system, and uh, you still require their uh, simple normal crossing. Then it still uh, uh, has uh, ball type moduli. So the dimension of those uh, balls are uh, nine, nine, uh, seven, and six. So uh, we found that there are uh, two operations you can do for uh, this kind of uh, uh, example. So the first one is to uh, take refinements. So uh, in general, you can study uh, any cyclic cover uh, branching along simple normal crossing divisors. And uh, usually you will require this uh, X to uh, be final or in the final range. And uh, you take a uh, partition of uh, uh, some ratio of this uh, uh, anti-canonical bundle, then uh, any partition will give you uh, such an example of uh, uh, Carbia orbifolds. Now the question is to uh, classify uh, all the ball type examples from this construction. So uh, first, uh, when you take a partition, you can always look at its uh, refinements. And uh, we proved that uh, refinements uh, of D uh, preserve the ball type property. So uh, equivalently, you consider the degeneration of those uh, uh, Calabial varieties uh, with ball type moduli. Then uh, you can find that uh, if your uh, degeneration uh, still preserves this uh, simple normal crossing divisor structure, then uh, you usually go to a, a sub ball in the original uh, complex hyperbolic ball. So when d equals three, that's exactly the case uh, we consider uh, when the base is product of uh, projective lines. Then we can also uh, have another construction called a uh, half twist. So uh, what's a half twist? Half twist means uh, you consider a higher dimensional uh, base, so which is uh, x cross p1, and First, you lift all the divisors on x to x prime. So that's uh, just uh, di cross p1. And you need to add another uh, divisor to uh, fulfill this uh, uh, condition, uh, the Calabial condition. So the an another divisor is just uh, x cross uh, three points from p1. So the corresponding uh, cyclic cover will give you a higher dimensional uh, Calabial variety, which is uh, y prime. Uh, we call this. Uh, uh, half twist. So the half twist also uh, generates ball type uh, examples from the known ball type examples. So for example, uh, the first example 330 and 003 uh, is a half twist uh, because uh, uh, for L1, uh, we already know from the work of Kondo, uh, it gives you a ball type uh, moduli. And you just uh, uh, add another uh, three, three, uh, a zero, zero, 003, then you will obtain the same moduli and uh, it has the same uh, complex hyperbolic ball structure. So essentially, uh, you will have uh, some primitive uh, examples. So we classify all the primitive examples uh, for the base, uh, uh, X being the product of P1. So all the examples are essentially uh, the example by Kondo and uh, our uh, two, three, four, and also one another example for n equals four. So uh, based on these uh, uh, five examples, uh, you can do refinements, you can do uh, half twist, uh, you will generate all the uh, both type examples uh, for this base. So usually this, uh, Complex hyperbolic ball is related to uh, the Nemosto theory. So uh, let me take one example, uh, the Condos example. Uh, we take some uh, degeneration or refinements from Condos example. Uh, for example, we consider K3 surfaces uh, with this uh, 
secondary cover to P1 cross P1, and the branching locus is uh, given by a divisor of degree by degree 3, 1, and uh, 0, 2. So the two blue lines are just uh, D2, and this uh, uh, green curve is uh, D1. So both are uh, genus 1, a uh, genus 0 curve. And uh, if you look at this branching divisor, then uh, you can consider the fibration of uh, this uh, case three surface uh, over P1. So you have actually two ways to get the fibration uh, since your base is P1 cross P1. So if you look at this fibration, uh, you will find that it's a isotrivial elliptic fibration with uh, six singular fibers uh, in both directions. So where are the singular fibers? So for the uh, first projection, project to the uh, X coordinate, uh, you will have uh, this uh, three, uh, this six intersection points of D1 and D2. So they will project to uh, the base. You will have uh, six points on P1, and the fiber over these six points uh, are the singular fibers. And uh, for the other direction, you will have the branching points of this uh, uh, D1, and then you will also have uh, the uh, Two blue lines, they are project to uh, one point. So in both directions, uh, you will have uh, uh, six singular fibers. And if you study the monodromy around uh, those singular fibers of this uh, isotrivial elliptic fibration, you will find corresponding uh, the most data. Uh, in one projection, you will have uh, mu equal to uh, one over three, six one over three. And in the other direction, uh, you will have uh, two over three, two over three, and the rest is uh, one over six. So uh, using these two fibrations, we can prove that the monodromy ramification coming from uh, this uh, uh, case three surface is actually the same as uh, the lattices in uh, the Lemosto theory up to a uh, finite index. So one corollary of this uh, double fibration structure is that the two the Lemosto lattices are actually the same up to a uh, finite index. So uh, in dimension three, so if our base is uh, uh, P1 cross P1 cross P1, then most examples are also related to the most of theory uh, by taking uh, fibration. So now in this case, the uh, fibers are K3 surfaces uh, with maximal uh, uh, PKR rank, uh, which is equal to 20. And uh, they also have some singular fiber. And if you study the same uh, or similar theory uh, of uh, Kodaira on elliptic fibration, uh, you will find uh, those singular fibers uh, gives you the uh, corresponding the most data. So we have a list of those data. And using this, uh, we can also prove some uh, uh, the most lattices are the same up to a finite index. So let me say a few words about uh, the ingredients in the classification. So in the classification, uh, Essentially, we need some vanishing of uh, uh, Hodge numbers uh, according to this uh, uh, character decomposition. So one way to compute the Hodge number is uh, by local torality. So we prove local torality for uh, equisingular deformations of those uh, cyclic covers. And uh, after that, we can prove uh, stability and then use uh, uh, JIT theory to uh, calculate the Hodge number. And uh, the other part is uh, from uh, topology. So by standard methods in topology, we can find uh, uh, some other Hodge numbers, and then we compare them, uh, then we can have uh, the vanishing condition on Hodge numbers. So the corresponding classification method also works for a general uh, basis, uh, like toric variety or homogeneous variety. So actually, we also uh, calculated uh, the Pays for products of uh, projective spaces. And uh, uh, there are some other examples, but uh, the richest uh, is still from uh, products of P1. So the refinement relation comes from a uh, generalization of uh, uh, Clement Schmidt uh, long exact sequence. So uh, this is generalization by Kerr and Laza. So the usual uh, Clement Schmidt uh, exact sequence uh, requires uh, semi stable. Uh, reduction and uh, in geometric case uh, that's uh, that's usually uh, very hard to find and in our case uh, we will use a uh, uh, version uh, by Kerr and Laza essentially uh, coming from the decomposition theorem. 
So the monodromy groups are uh, proven to be arithmetic groups uh, by uh, Borel extension. And uh, for like what I said, uh, so for general cyclic covers, uh, even just for P1 cross P1, we can get this uh, uh, commutability relations of uh, the most lattices. And when the moduli has uh, dimension two, uh, we recover the uh, results of uh, the Mosto and the uh, Sauter. Uh, they prove some uh, uh, complex uh, hyperbolic uh, balls of dimension two. Uh, they prove that uh, some lattices in uh, this uh, the Mosto theory are compatible, uh, even for uh, non arithmetic ones. So uh, that's all I wanted to say uh, in today's talk. And finally, uh, happy birthday, Professor Yao. <laughs>